It's Tacho! Greetings fan addicts! Evan here, and this is Bark Hollywood! <laughs> Unless you live in a grass hut in the Solomon Islands, you know about the epic NBC talk show meltdown of 2010 with Jay, Conan, and Jimmy. While everyone's lip flapping about who the heck's going where and when, the Bark Hollywood team has created five nights of original programming to fill those crater-like 10 o'clock primetime holes and guarantee blockbuster lead-ins for their now furious affiliates. That's right. Even though we're on the web, we are single-handedly saving network TV. Yeah. Treat, kick it off. Yo, NBC big guy Jeff Zucker. There isn't like one friggin' show about dogs on the network right now. That's friggin' deplorable. So from now on, Mondays at 10 is Celebrity Doggies Gone Wild. And In Your Jow Show, where outspoken much rat on their spoiled, rich and famous owners with hidden cameras installed all over their friggin' over-the-top houses. I mean, can you imagine Jennifer Aniston's dog, Norman, selling Jen down the river after she is a titillating and bodacious weekend with a guy she claims is just a friggin' friend? That's hilarious. People love that kind of crap. <laughs> Yo, Sparky, what you got for us? Hello, NBC. This is a no-brainer. On Tuesday nights, just take that hot red-haired mama Kathy Griffin from your Bravo channel and do a reality show with Kathy and her two dogs called Scooping the Poop with Kathy and watch the ratings so higher than Obama's approval ratings after he fist bumps his wife. I mean, Kathy could read a Scientology pamphlet and be funnier than anything you got out there right now. Then on Wednesday nights, run some damn movie like Dog Day Afternoon, Lassie, Benji, hell, I don't care. But just run it for an hour and then just cut it off and leave the people hanging. It's a radical idea, but kids don't have an attention span anymore, so who cares? Does Lassie rescue Timmy from the well? Well, I don't know. We'll never know, but as Americans, we're too damn fat and lazy to complain, so there, whatever. Starkey. My idea for Thursday night is really cheap, so Jeff will like it. Just follow me, Diti Ortega, around with a handheld camera as I sniff out all the potential Oscar nominees and try to convince them to walk the red carpet with their dogs instead of their cheating spouses or some clueless relative from the Midwest. Since the awards are on ABC, NBC can use me to keep the Oscar buzz alive all through the coverage of the Winter Olympics. This is so brilliant, and did I mention cheap? Join my campaign. <laughs> and on Fridays at 10 o'clock, it's Celebrity Outburst Island. Every time a pop of celebrity snaps with an obnoxious outburst, pay attention to Rush Limbaugh and spanking new Fox reporter who's sure to screw up, Sarah Palin. They're immediately whisked to a remote island, hold up in a five by six sale and forced to watch endless reruns of Jay's primetime monologues and John and Kate plus eight until they apologize and admit their stupidity. Sorry. Should not take long. So there you have it. NBC primetime programming solved. And P.S. You're welcome, Jeff. Now how about throwing a few weeks of SNL hosting duties our way? I'm just dying to meet that Andy Samberg. Okay, till next time, I'm all ears. And this is Bark Hollywood. Oh man, I really tend to burn through the cashola. So it's a good thing I'm so employable. Roll it. Oh man, my hours were cut back at the deli. Some lame excuse like my attitude or something. So I applied for a job at Fred's Breakfast. Fred was paused down, the greatest guy I ever met. Everyone loved him. He had a real sense of community and said if I ever needed help, his pals would take care of me. So I met with the new pastry chef, Lamont LaRue. Hey, you LaRue? Why? I called about the assistant pastry chef job. I'm Todd. Okay. <laughs> yeah, me and Fred were great drinking buddies. Man, could we knock them back? There was this one St. Patty's Day when I swear... Well, all you have to do is put the icings on the rolls. Simple enough, okay? Can do, LaRue. Here's the icing. Go for it. Assigned to the to the lemon wedge cutting station. Well, how much does that pay? Take it or leave it. Okay, calm down for crying out loud. 
Take it or leave it! This guy's gotta cut out sugar. I didn't go to night school to slice lemon wedges. I'm out of here. Oh man, I miss Fred. I gotta admit, Dame Bisquet is not afraid to tackle even the most embarrassing situations. Check it out. Got a question about your pet? Just ask Dame Bisquet. Queen of Pet Etiquette. Hello, pet things. Charlotte from North Carolina writes. Dear Dame Bisquet, the dinner party guests are headed for the door, and my precious little Vivi takes a colossal whiz on the Persian carpet. Characteristic main Oh, just take that lime wedge from your vodka gimlets. Now squeeze it over that urine spot and slide your stiletto. Oh, there's a little pulp gently over the stain. And voila, a citrusy fragrance permeates the room. Be right there. And the stain is where? Oh, another begonia. Thank you. Here's the freak of the week. Oh, I can't chew on the damn bone with my mouth wired shut. All right, that's the show. Hey, we have a ton of fun episodes to watch. Just go to our official site, click videos on the homepage, then categories. Pick season one or two and check them out. Awesome. Hey, see you boneheads next time.